in the last video, we already went through the process of creating a coquette fashion procure stem brushes that generated from Midjourney AI. In this video, I will actually show you how to use that brushes to create an actual design. Hello everyone, I'm Irene Kate. I'm a fashion design graduate and I am currently focusing on digital fashion and also creating fashion-based content around these topics. And for the short recap from the last video, if you are new here, in the last video, we have talked about what is coquette, what it means, why it has become this trend. We also created the Coquette mood board together and the progress stem brushes that generated from Mid Journey AI. So for this video, I will show you how to use these brushes to create an actual design, which in this video will be digital fashion, and how to wear it digitally as well. So let's start with sketching. We will start by creating this design with Coquette stem brushes in Procurate. Here, I began with coquette corset number 11 and then applied it to my female figure. For this design, I aim to create a dress by combining small parts of each item together. We already have a corset and now we need a skirt part, so I will use coquette dress number 13. Apply it to the figure and erase the top part. I also need more ruffles for the skirt, so I choose coquette skirt number 7, but we just need a bottom ruffle part of the skirt and then erase any unnecessary parts. And I want the waistline to align exactly with the real waist and I want it to be straight. So I adjust it manually by drawing a straight line and using the liquify tools on Procreate to refine it. I wanted this dress to have pop sleeves so I used a sleeve from pocket top number 2. And then erase any intersecting parts and connect the lines together. I also want the shoulder ruffle from Coquit top number 7. Apply it and adjust as needed, repeating the process for the other side as well. For the colorway of this design, I will use feminine pastel tones. I normally prefer using pastel colors for my designs and sometimes I use a green hue similar to a green screen to clearly see the edges of each layer before applying the actual colors later. I feel that this way is easier for me so that I don't have to stare too much if the edge came out neatly or not. And also I like to use real fabric textures into my sketches to give a better idea of the design. And in this case, I searched for satin fabric texture and applied it to each layer using clipping mask in Procreate. And for the white color, I want it to be a less texture. And finally, I add some bows to the front part of the dress, and then it is finished. And the next step, we will turn our sketch into the digital fashion design. And in this step, I will use the fashion software called Style 3D to turn my design into the digital fashion presentation. So we start by choosing the avatar. Normally, I do women's wear, so in here, I choose female. And in here, there is so many options for you to choose to craft your avatar and turn it into your unique one. Here, I will choose Vika. And for the hair, there is so many hairstyles as well. So I will go with the classic one first so that the hair will not distract while I'm focused on building the cloth. And maybe I can change the hairstyle later when the whole look is finished. And then I change the real-time render lights to make it more bright. And you can edit the avatar as well, the proportion of her body. You can change it based on your preference. Here I make her taller because I will do a long dress so that I can have the area in the legs for me to play and to put the details in and for her to show the proportions of my design properly. 
and here you can choose the pose that you like so I will adjust the pose for her then we will be ready to create the cloth and for my design I mostly start with corset for corset it needs to be fit in the upper body so I mostly start with pen tool and draw the line along with the body and the line to connect the sleeve patterns and the dash both front and back and then select the all patterns all together and turn it into flat patterns where you can adjust in 2D and then I clone the other side and start to connect to make it into the complete corset for the upper part so the skirt part for this design I will use rectangle long rectangle because I want it to create the smock effect kind of a ruffle effect around the waist put it a bit longer a little bit and then I keep adjusting until I find the silhouette that I like and then you sew it together and then I put the big ruffle at the hemline so this skirt will be skirt and then ruffle and then I put another ruffle I normally decide with a lot of ruffles so it's my favorite technique so after the dress part is finished then I prepare the sleeves for this design, as you can see when we sketch, we want to do a puff sleeve. So I started to create the puff sleeve pattern and connect it into the body. It will be puff sleeve and the ruffle again. Yeah, a lot of ruffles. And for these ruffles, I want it to be like a curve so that it can give like the small sense of detail. And then I start working with details around the dress this tie detail in the front part of the body put some bow on inside 3d there is so many bows in it so if you decide yourself you can choose this element that you like yourself and then for the color i start with pink and add some blue on for the texture i use silk texture and then i think it might be too simple so i go to the mid journey to generate some pattern so i start to experiment and I start to get the result that I like which is the rapid in the sky and then I put into the dress and then put some bows on start choosing the hairstyle that we didn't choose in the beginning and styling by put some earrings on the hair the earrings this is the asset that you can just drag and drop in the software and this is what I normally do during the 3d process after I finish the 3d clothes and then after I turn it into obj file and then render it in blender and to recap the rendering process in Blender, I imported the clothing design from Style 3D into Blender, create a simple environment, did a lighting, put rotation keyframes on, and rendered it. And this is the result of our rendering. And now it's time for virtual styling. We will do something exactly just like this. This is my previous design. So first we need to prepare the original image. And we need our digital fashion design that poses according to our original image. Without a background and start putting these two images together. And here I was doing it on Procreate because the purpose of this is for social media usage and is still under the resolution the Procreate can handle without losing quality but if you want some higher quality using Adobe Photoshop can be a great choice as well and this is the result of our virtual styling And this is about it for this video about how I use the Coquette Fashion Procreate stem brushes that we generated from Mid Journey AI and how to turn it into the design in this video as a digital fashion. As you can see in this video, to design something new, it doesn't mean that you just have to mix and matching item by item like corset and skirt, but you can mixing and matching the little part as well like a ruffle, combine with pop sleeve, combine with upper part 
part of the corset, you're mixing and matching different elements and turn it into something new. And this can be one of the fundamental ways that we often use in fashion design. So what do you think about this video? Please feel free to give your feedback. What do you think about the digital fashion? Could it be something that we want on a daily basis in the near future or even in the now? Or it could be like an add-on thing, the another form of self-expression for our digital identity. I would love to hear your opinions. So thank you so much for tuning in with me today. I really wish what I love to do can inspire you in some little way. And for anyone that want to try my coquette fashion stamp brushes that I used for this video, I already put the link down below. And for anyone that want to start your digital fashion journey, you can access free trial for the style 3D which is the software that I used for this video. I really appreciate you spending time with me today and see you in the next video. Goodbye!